Jacob Toppin, is he ready for a breakout season for the Kentucky Wildcats? Now that he's made his way into the starting rotation, is it his time to shine? You look at his numbers, obviously, as everyone knows, played at Rhode Island for one year before transferring to Kentucky, averaged 5.1 points per game in 18 and a half minutes at Rhode Island. Averaged 5.2 points per game in 17 minutes during his first season with the Kentucky Wildcats. And then this past year, averaged 6.2 points per game over the course of 17.7 minutes. And now he heads into his senior season looking to build on what he's kind of done. He's, he's laid the foundation, right? He's slowly developed. And now that he's probably going to eclipse somewhere between 20 to 25 minutes, if not more, considering how uh, Coach John Calipari likes to use his starting lineup and how much he likes to play his starting five. He doesn't really like to take a deep look into the bench. I would like to think that if we're just basing this off of statistics he will be able to take a step forward, shooting over 50% from the floor uh, throughout his entire career, 53.2% to be specific. He is a 72.2% free throw shooter, averages 3.6 rebounds, and a little under an assist per contest. But last season, he averaged 1.1 assists as opposed to half a turnover per game. And I think there is a lot to like about Jacob Toppin outside of just the facts of like, well, if it's minutes go up, his stats are probably going to go up. I think that if you look at some of the traits that he has as a power forward, they're very, very likable. And if he can just add a little bit onto his game, uh, I think that he would be a very solid NBA player. I think the number one thing that you have to note about Jacob Toppin, and this is not a revelation, this is just something that you see and observe when watching Jacob Toppin. It's one of the first things that comes to mind. His explosiveness and his bounce. Really, really bouncy player can get up. We saw a lot of incredible dunks, a lot of really nice finishes during his time uh, with the Wildcats over the past couple of seasons, but specifically this past year had some really, really nice finishes. Uh, A couple of one-handed dunks, one in particular I can remember against LSU. I believe he got fouled on, if I'm not mistaken. And then also there was this 360 dunk against Auburn. Uh, He's got some crazy athleticism and and some some crazy bounce. And then on top of that, he's really good in the transition game. So Keon Brooks, Kentucky's starting power forward last year, was good in the transition game. And he was really good at getting to the rim. And as was Jacob Toppin. Whenever he was able to get a steal or get an outlet on the fast break, he would just... Tra- smoothly transition to the basket. And I think the, the word I want to use here just about Jacob Toppin overall as a player is he glides. He glides to the basket. His jump shot has improved. And the, I think the most important thing is whenever he's getting around screens or he's stepping away from the free, free throw line, he just kind of glides into the mid range, just kind of glides to the rim whenever he wants to. Really, really smooth, fluid player. Still not a three point shooter. But I think that he's better. Uh, he's He has improved his jump shot outside of the paint. I think we got to see that, especially towards the end of last season, just putting some nice touch on some jumpers uh, and some floaters. I, I think that he's trying to expand his offensive game. And he's if he's able to do that, if he's able to become a three-point shooter, then certainly... I think that uh, I think that he could potentially break out for the Wildcats this season. Something else I want to note, just talking about gliding and finishing at the rim, he's got really strong hands around the rim. Really, really strong hands. When you go watch him back, uh, go back and watch the highlights. Uh, anytime he would uh, in a, encounter contact around the rim, uh, he'd go right up through it and he'd finish. And I know there, there were times where he didn't last season, but more often than not, I think you really had to point to Jacob Toppin's strong hands uh, whenever he was finishing. Uh, around the rim. And then also something else I want to point out here, really good on backdoor sets for the Wildcats. Caught a lot of lobs. I think he was going, I think he's going to do that a lot this season as well. And I think the only thing that you can really ask for in terms of just expanding his game is to kind of develop that outside shot. He's not a three point shooter. I know he shot over 40% from three this past season. You go back and watch it. I think he banked in like three threes. He's not that great of a jump shooter. His mechanics on his three Uh, not the best in the world. I think that's something that he could potentially work on, but I mean, if it's his shot, it's his shot. And I don't think the Wildcats are honestly going to be asking him to shoot the three ball a lot. I mean, they didn't with Keon, so why would they with with Toppin, right? 
So overall, I think that you like the progression he's had statistically with essentially the same amount of minutes. And I think that you have to assume if his uh, minutes go up, his numbers go up. And then on top of that, he's got some really, really positive traits, some likable things that you want out of your small forward. Also played good defense around the rim at times last season. I think that this is somebody that Kentucky is going to want to see uh, his role expanded. I think it's somebody that Kentucky is going to want to see get a little bit more aggressive in terms of offense, just kind of creating his own stuff. I think that this is uh, this is a guy in Jacob Toppin that could potentially do that for the Wildcats this season. I don't know. I, it, it really def- it really is determined by your definition of breakout season because if he averages like 12 points a game, I mean, that's double what he's done up until this point. Uh, in my mind, that's a breakout season. He doubled his production. But uh, I, I think that some people would take it a step further and say, no, he's got to average like 15 a game and, and maybe get closer to a double-double per contest. And I don't necessarily think I see him doing that, but I can absolutely see him averaging 12 or 13 and really improving in his final year with the Wildcats. If you've got thoughts about what uh, Jacob Toppin could potentially do for the Wildcats this season, leave it in the YouTube comments below. 